the injective function is usually referred to as one-to-one -one function now let's define it a function f from a into b is said to be one-to-one -one if for each element small a in set a there is a distinct element small b in set b such that f of a is equal to b in other words the function f is one to one if different elements in b are assigned to different elements in a that is if no two different elements in a have the same image uh, we say that the function f is one to one if for every element a b in set a f of a is not equal to f of b implies that a is not equal to b so uh, let's take uh, a few examples on this I'm going to draw here I have set a with elements minus 4 minus 2 0 2 and 4 then I have set B with the elements minus 3 minus 1 1 3 and 5 now we have a function which is a mapping from f of x sorry from a into b here minus 4 is mapped to minus 3 minus 2 is mapped to minus 1 0 is mapped to 1 2 is mapped to 3 and 4 is mapped to 5 so this is my function f of x then I have another function g of x which is a mapping from set a into set c Here I have the elements minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, and 4 in set A. Sorry, this is set C, not set B. Then in set C, I have 16, 4, and 0 as the elements. Then minus 4 is mapped to 16. Minus 2 is mapped to 4. 0 is mapped to 0. 2 is mapped to 4. And 4 is mapped to 16. So among these two functions, f of x and g of x, uh, the one that is one to one is f of x while g of x is not a one to one function the reason is that no two different elements have the same image in f of x so we say that f of x is a one to one function while g of x is not a one-to-one -one function okay 
Let's take a second example. This is the first one, example one. Then the second one will be. So the second example, uh, we let f be a function. Defined by defined by the formula f of x equal to x squared. Now the question is. Is f a one to one function? Is f a one to one function? Let's find out. Now let's take any two elements two and minus two belonging to a. We observe that f of 2 is equal to 2 squared which is 4 and f of minus 2 is equal to minus 2 squared which is also 4 therefore f of 2 is equal to f of minus 2 while minus 2 is not equal to 2. So what can we conclude about this? We say that f is not a one-to-one -one function from the definition here. Here, f of a is not equal to f of b implies that a is not equal to b. So what we have here is that f of 2 is equal to f of minus 2 while minus 2 is different from 2. So we say that f is not a 1 to 1 function. Thus f is not 1 to 1. Okay. Now we have a third example, example three. Let A be equal to this, minus one, one, which is the same as minus one, less than or equal to X, less than or equal to one. Let B be equal to this, which is the same as this. 1 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 3. And C be equal to this one that has minus 3 and minus 1 which is the same as minus 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to minus 1. Now let the functions, let's um, have the functions f1, let the functions f1 be a mapping from A into R. F2 is a mapping from B into R and F3 is a mapping from C into R. Let them be defined by
let them be defined by the rule which states that to each member to each number assign its square to each number assign its square now the question is which of the functions are one to one which of the functions are one to one And we are going to answer that. We'll start with the first one. The first one is F1. F1 is a mapping from A into R. That is... F1 um, A is this we can replace A by minus 1 and 1 and then into R so this implies that this implies that for all X in A f of x or f1 of x is equal to x squared now if we take any two elements in a for instance if we take half and minus half in a then we know that minus half is different from half but f of f1 of minus half is equal to minus half squared since f1 of x is x squared so f1 of minus half is equal to minus half all squared so this is equal to 1 over 4 while f1 of half is equal to half squared which is also equal to 1 over 4 so since f1 of minus half is equal to f1 of half and minus half is not same as half this implies that f1 is not a one-to-one -one function F1 is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, for the second part, we have the function F2. F2, let's say this is I, I. The first one is I. Then F2 is defined as a mapping from B into R. This implies that F2 is from this interval into R. Then for all X in B, it implies that F2 of X is equal to X squared. That is the square of X. Now, if you take any two elements, say um, 1 and 3 in set B, 
then we know that 1 is not same as 3. We will have f2 of 1. f2 of 1 is equal to 1 squared, which is 1. f2 of 3 is equal to 3 squared, which is 9. So this implies that f2 of 1 is not equal to f2 of 3 for this function. Therefore, for all xy, for all xy in b, x not equal to y, f2 of x is not equal to f2 of y. So we say that f2 is a one-to-one -one function. f2 is a one-to-one -one function. Next, we are going to look at f3. We'll check whether f3 is one-to-one -one or not. Now let's call this the third one. f3 is a mapping from C into R. So this implies that f3 is a mapping from this interval minus 3 minus 1 into r so this means that f3 of x is equal to x squared for all x in c now let's check f3 of minus 3 f3 of minus 3 will be equal to minus 3 squared, which is 9. Then f3 of minus 1, f3 of minus 1 is equal to minus 1 squared, which is same as 1. So this implies that f3 of minus 3 is not equal to f3 of minus 1. Therefore, f3 is 1 to 1. So f3 is 1 to 1 function. We're going to end it here. If this video has been helpful to you, then click the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.